All right, friends, today we are making our own window screen frame from a kit. So we're going to show you how to do that. Not we. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like when people are always like, we, we, we. Um, I am going to do that. I'm not multiple people. Last time I checked. So <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, all right. So. I had an old frame, put in a new screen, it kind of bent it inwards, uh, it was 48 inches. Uh, there's my old frame down there. I got the frame kit from uh, Home Depot. I'll link uh, it in the description for Amazon if you guys want to check it out. The kits are like 12 bucks. Um, I'm going to be doing one with a crossbar in the middle. Um, I was looking at frames online. They were looking like, I was out the door, it was like 100 bucks. so... I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. I'm going to go get the kit and get it for like, you know, probably 20 bucks a frame or for, for each window with the screen and everything. So I was like, this is a lot better deal. I can do this. Um, to cut these the same length, uh, I just wrapped my, uh, I'm doing two windows at a time. So I wrapped all four of these up with painter's tape, made sure the ends were level. And then I put my old one on the, uh, across the top. And painters taped that one together with that, just wrapped it around. Um, got my hacksaw and just cut evenly at the end of that one where they all were and cut right through it. So that gave me the lengths I needed. And uh, we're going to go from there, guys. We got our frame. If you don't have your old frame, measure your window. Uh, from like the outside, the edges and the top. And you can get kind of, uh, as long as it's like bigger or um, it's small enough to fit inside the frame, the outside frame of your window, but big enough to cover like there's an inner a lip that goes around that. So there's usually a generous uh, about an inch or a half inch of gap you can do that. So just measure from your frame uh, sides and up and down. Okay, that being said. We are going to go ahead and construct this. I have the two frames. I have my middle crossbar and I have the ends. Okay. So these frame kits, they come with uh, this one. It was build a screen. Home Depot thing. It comes with four of these little corners, two little um uh, grab tabs and also two little springs so you can that'll help hold your uh, window uh, thing in there so we're going to get a little springs out we're going to get our little tabs out we're going to get a little corners out and we're going to go to work here all right here we go let's do this so want to make sure that all your little um, window gaps are facing upwards probably try to do this on a flat surface so you can these only go in one way try it the other way they're not going to go in uh, the part that you cut sometimes can be a little the aluminum can be a little jagged I'll show you guys that real quick so you can take a file and file that off if you want or whatever, um, a little screwdriver. It can be a little sharp, so just be careful. I'm gonna put my my uh, springs in there and just put them on there like that and slide them down on there. If you're, like one part where I cut, the aluminum was a little bit folded over, so these weren't really going in there. Just put them sideways and then turn it. And that aluminum's really flimsy. Um, or you just take like a screwdriver and just kind of run it on there and go like pop off of there. So get your little uh, springs in there, put on these outside things. I'm a little cautious of using these springs. I live by the coast, so I've seen these get really rusty before. I'm hoping these aren't the type that are going to do that because then I'd probably have to replace this. But anyways, here we go. We got that. These don't aren't really that difficult to push on there. A little bit harder the place that's been cut but um, not nothing too rough here 
All right, there's our crossbar. I'm gonna push these on just like that. Super easy to do, guys. Um, if I can do, if I can do this, um, you guys can definitely do it. Don't be intimidated by tasks. Usually, the hardest part of a DIY is just convincing yourself that you can do it. Now, I got these little crossbar tabs. Uh, these little guys. I had to replace my last window because um, when I put the new screen in, it kind of pulled it together and it was kind of bowed. So I decided I'm going to put a crossbar in these. I went to Home Depot, got like a bag of these little guys. It was like a dollar. These just fit in the ends and then these go in the little gap there. So it's pretty much just like this. You put them in the ends. Oopsie doodle. And then those fit in there. I want to try to make it the same. Oops. Got that in there a little too far. Try to get that out there. All right, there we go. Okay. So I want these kind of equidistant if I can. So I'm going to put these on there. And then we'll figure out what the distance is that we need. They don't have to be like perfectly in the middle, but it would be nice to get them as even as possible, just so it doesn't look uh, bad. So I'm just going to measure real quick our distance. Uh, 44 and a half so 44 and a half we can go 22 just get this one in at 22 down here All right okay we can do 22 on this side right about there so there and there, it's looking pretty good. And just a hair, and that goes on there like that. Okay, that's kind of where we want it, guys. Um, now these little tabs, these help pull your screen off if you need to. And these just go in there like that. Okay, now we're going to put our screen on. This is the fun part. This is going to be a little intimidating. But we got this, guys. Okay, so you want your screen. This is 46 by 22 and something. Measure twice, cut once. Here we go. So we're going to lay our screen down there. You want about an inch or two inch overlap just to give you some leeway. In case you have an error so I'm just gonna go over that that's gonna overlap a little bit there right like that it's gonna go over okay that's gonna keep it there hopefully maybe probably not but we're gonna try okay so we're gonna get that it's 48 inches long worked out pretty good we're just gonna cut down the center or cut down this area here. Try to keep it equidistant. And just go all the way down here. Okay. There's that. Now it is fun park. So this is curling up. And I'm just gonna put it over there. So this is a little bit thicker screen. Um, it's the uh, pet proof or pet resistant one. So it's a little bit harder to put in here because it's a little bit thicker material. But 
it works as advertised guys this is the uh, if you've got cats or something that like to climb your screens this will unless your cat weighs more than mine this is going to protect your screen from getting damaged our old screen i had to replace because our cat was climbing up you know how they do they like to sharpen their claws and all that stuff um this like our cat could climb up on here they do the whole little claw scratching thing on there and it doesn't uh break it so i highly recommend the this uh pet one okay we're gonna get our splines here and lay them out i pulled them out of the old ones or the before i not the old ones but these so you just want to start in a corner and then we're going to go around. Um, first thing you want to do ow, is you want to get, we're starting in a corner and these little tools, these, this comes with a little kit you can get. I mean, these are super cheap. One's got a little ridge in there and one's kind of pointed. So the pointed one, we're going to try to run it down the line from the corner and get our uh, groove for our screen to go into and then we're going to push the spline down with that hopefully something like that so we're just going to start at a corner and get this in the little groove there and just kind of work our way down here guys and hopefully that's going to stay in there. And that's going to be our starting point. Right there. Okay, so. We're going to push this in as best we can. And we use the little concave part. Okay, and then we're just gonna go go down the line here with this. Just kind of roll it as you go. We're just keeping your spline in there. Hopefully our thing's gonna stay in place here. And we're just rolling it as we go. Okay, kind of keep good pressure on there. There's our cross member right there. That's okay, we're gonna just keep going. And then we're gonna to get to the end there, okay? Just like that, no problems. Take a flathead screwdriver and push in your corner. You want that to go in nice and good there. Okay. And then take your scissors. Got that little end piece here. And we're just gonna snip that off right there. And take your flathead screwdriver. Push that down in there. Okay. Nice and good in there. Make sure this is all good. You can do another run over it if you want, if you feel that's necessary. Usually, one time you're good to go. It's in there pretty deep. It's looking, uh, looking pretty good, guys. Okay, so next step is we're just going to go from this corner across. We're just going to repeat that, get our uh, pointed edge. We're going to go in here and just kind of work it down the line. And hopefully that's where we want to be, right? I'm wondering if we pull this, maybe something like that, so it's be a little flatter. Sometimes you gotta eyeball this and be like, mm. Maybe it needs to move a little bit. Is that going to... I don't know. Looks good. 
we're gonna go with it. Uh, get this part in. We'll roll it this way. Okay, and then we're just gonna go down the go down the pipeline here, guys. Just like we knew what we were doing. Get our flathead screwdriver. Push that down there. We got a little bit of a overlap there. It's okay. Simply cut that off. Use our flathead screwdriver and push that down in there. All right, we're going up this edge now. I'm hoping that doesn't make a cause a problem. It looks like it kind of a little bit more overlap here. If it does, we'll uh, simply just pull that out and uh, give it a go again. So here we go. It's looking like it's just kind of going to correct itself here. So I'm good with that. Let's just kind of run down here. Come on, stay in there. That's looking all right, guys. It looked like a little uh, hesitant there. We're just going to get this one started. And just like the previous ones. Get that in there. And we're just going to kind of go down the line here. You got to press kind of firmly. And I like to just kind of keep this one in the little track in front of it as we go. There's our crossbar area. Okay, just going down the line, guys. There we go. Come to the end. We know what we do here. We're just going to cut off that part. What do we do next? That's right, flathead screwdriver. Make sure we get our corner in there real good. Looking good. Same thing over here. Just get that down into the crevice as best we can. Come on, little guy, get in there. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so that's that. Just make sure. Checking our uh, part here. Now we just make our little groove coming from this side. Oops. Get in the groove there and just come, come across here. The top. Just like that. Hmm. Okay, so it appears that it wants to maybe bunch up on me a little bit, so we're just gonna. Uh, hmm. Well, fiddlesticks. Might have got a little bit of a, a snafu here. Yeah, I'm not too concerned with it, but I think when it bent there a little bit at that end, it kind of created this little bit of a, a deal here on this end. So one side perhaps has a little bit more of a, so you got some play here. So what I'm gonna do 
kind of pull this out a little bit. Okay, and that should go along like this. Try to maybe give it a little pull as we go down the line here. going to give us our, our gap back. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Man, it's funny. The other one was flawless, so I was like, sweet, we are rocking it. And now, this one wants to give me some trouble. I think it stemmed from that issue there, so I don't really care, you know. If it's got a little bit of bend here, this just, I mean, it kind of bothers me, but it's just kind of like, okay. I should still, um, So we just like this extra fill right here is, is what we're dealing with, kind of. It's that right there. My goodness, I don't like that. Not one bit. <sighs> so I pulled this out. And that didn't really remediate that issue. Maybe it uh, goes down a little further than that. So what if I come from this side and try it? Maybe we'll do that way, guys. Go from this corner. See if that will alleviate our little problem there. There's always little things you run into that can uh, test your resolve. But uh, don't give up. You're saving money. There's our little corner pieces. Okay. Put those in nice. Okay, so we're going to kind of hope that this comes out okay. Get our corners in there good. All right, so what are we thinking here, guys? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I'm hoping it works. I would like for it to work. Right, so let's just go, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Did it, guys. Look at that. All right, so I didn't have to pull the whole thing out. Got it nice in there. Just had to do a little bit of finagling. But in the long run, it paid off. So there's that. Um, it does start to bind on you a little bit. You can just kind of go on one end. Maybe I should have initially fixed that. But it looks okay. It's kind of nice and flat there. We're just going to trim off the excess now. Hey, we're done, guys. Okay, so I like to take a razor blade. You can use scissors if you want. And I like to go 
uh, from the inside out so we're not accidentally going from the outside in you might cut your thing so go ahead and from the inside out and pretty much just running this along down there taking care not to cut your your inner one side now and same thing just cutting along here nicely Go. We are rolling, guys. Side in, we don't want to do that. All right, so come out a little bit, no problem. Just take your screwdriver and say. Get back in there, buddy. Right. And we can just go over that a little bit. Make sure that we are in still in business. And we are looking okay. Okay. Oops, this one's coming out just a hair. Make sure we're not coming out there. All right, guys. Uh, so there we have it. Our screen. Got our little springs in the top here, and our little um, window holders in the bottom to help us. Let's go put this in and see how well it works, right? Okay, guys. A moment of truth time. So, there we have it, my friends. New screen in there with the crossbar. Turned out pretty good. So, the measurements you got to be careful on. I'll be 
obviously from this point, the bottom part, top, and then from this lip right here, that big screen goes into over to here. So we still have these little tabs out there, so everything looks good. Well, I guess that's a success. Thanks for watching, my friends, and we'll see you next time.